Now for the next exercise, we do a little bit more lisp background and introduce the concept of p-lists. A p-list is a type of map because it maps keys or keyword symbols to values. And in this example, we're mapping the keyword a to 1, b to 2, and c to 3. There's a operator which assumes a p-list form. If you give it a list, in this case we're using the word list just as a variable. It's a perfectly valid variable name at the top level to set q-list, even though list is also a function in common list. There are separate namespaces for variables versus functions. So if we do set q our list to this p-list, set q list to a list of say a, 1, b, 2, c, now we can do getf. So getf, think of it as get from a p list. So get from the list list the key a. So that's how getf retrieves getf b and so on. So this is a way that we can look up. This is the simplest way. There are other types of maps in common lists, such as hash tables, which can provide much faster lookup for larger sets of data or more frequently accessed sets of data. Now with the idea of p list in mind, we come into our exercise two, where we ask to define an object that represents a fuel tank. It simply has three input slots and a method to compute its volume. When we say method, we mean a computed slot. And this is just a simple-minded volume of the height times the width times the length. Additionally, we want to add a sequence of fuel tanks within the wing, where we have the following data, a list of lists, to represent the individual width, length, height for each of the fuel tanks. So we can do a little bit of a skeleton for this. Let's start with the fuel tank itself. We'll go in my temporary directory and make a file called tempsolutions.list. And the first thing we do is we'll bump the font. Again, control X, control plus, bump the font a little bit. We'll go in package GDO user, and we want to define an object for a fuel tank. This can mix in base object because it will have some essential geometry. And it takes input slots, just three of them, length, width, and height and we use these shorthand names. I don't always recommend using such short message names, by the way, but if you have standard formulas which have known conventional one or two letter names, then it may sometimes be appropriate to use the same names in the objects. Now we make a computed slot for the volume, and this is to multiply the, L, and so on. Fill in and close that bracket. Notice I put the parenthesis on the next line because these semicolons comment out the rest of the line that I'm on right now. So there's our simple fuel tank. Pull in that wing from sample two examples. The assignment is to add fuel tanks to this. So I'm simply going to copy and paste the engines and change them to be fuel tanks of type fuel tank. Sequence will be length of the tank data which we haven't defined yet. The slide presents this for your tank data. So a list with three lists with the data for each child tank. So we can try to copy and paste this list. Copy and paste from a browser into Emacs usually works, but we understand with Internet Explorer, we have to find other means of moving the text. Now we'll edit, paste, and I'll call this the fuel tank data. Fuel tank data is a list of lists with these values. So down here, the sequence will be the length of that list. Rather than the Tmax list, it's the length of the fuel tank data. And then instead of just Tmax, we have three inputs we have to pass in. We have the L, the width, and the height. I believe that's right. L, W, H, W, L, H. This is how this will look in Tasty. Let's take a look ourselves, since behind the scenes we did just define the full solution for this. So let's see how this will look in Tasty. We defined it as wing with engines, so we should just be able to update right here. And now the new definition for wing with engines. This update button here is to be used during development when you have made some change to the code and compiled it. Then this will update the model to reflect your new definitions. Now we see the three fuel tanks here, and we can look at, for example, example, the H, or for example, the volume. Let's check the volume. Now we have a value here. The fuel tanks 2, some volume is different. The fuel tanks 3, volume 4.2. And there are ways of formatting a number like this, which has some precision. 